Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to talk to you guys about my hair extensions. So I just recently got eye tips for the very first time and I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience. So a lot of you guys out there are probably familiar with the sew-in weaves. Most black girls get sew-in weaves. They don't usually get eye tips, at least that's from my experience. I am an avid sew-in weave wearer. In fact, I own a couple hair salons and that's primarily what we do. As of about the last year or so, I've transitioned into wearing uh, wigs. Literally, that's all I wear. I have about five, six, seven different wigs. They're so easy. The people who wear wigs know what I'm talking about. You can pop them on like at the drop of a hat. You can pack them in your bags. You can coordinate them with your outfits. And so I've just really been comfortable wearing wigs for almost two years now. And I transitioned out of wearing sewing weaves because it wasn't really providing me with the versatility that I wanted. However, recently I've gotten tired tired of wearing the wigs because they're like hot and I was feeling kind of you know stuffy in them so I wanted to check out a different alternative I love versatility I like to wear my hair in a ponytail I like to wear it up and down and so I said you know what I can either do some tracks which for those of you who aren't familiar tracks are just it's a sew-in weave but you braid individual rows of your hair and you attach the extensions so you have more of your hair out but even with that it doesn't necessarily give you a ton of versatility so I decided to try the eye tips and let me tell you something. I actually love them. I was a little nervous at first. A lot of black girls don't think that they can get eye tips because with eye tips, actually, hold on, let me go grab. So a lot of black girls don't think that they can wear eye tips because, excuse my nails, but this is the little tip that they place on your hair so they grab a small little section of your hair and then they attach this to it with a bead this is at the very very top of your scalp for a lot of the black girls their hair does not grow straight at the root but when you're going to like straighten it it's kind of difficult to get to your root with this however the good thing is that our hair is a lot drier than other people so we don't have to wash our hair as often because it takes a while for the oil to travel down from our scalp to the ends but if we wait a while our hair is healthier it's you know more moisturized and things like that so the benefit to that is you don't have to worry about constantly re-straightening your roots so I want all the black girls out there to know that you can get eye tips you may not be able to straighten your roots all the time but whenever you do you can and you can really get all the versatility you need with getting these eye tips. I just wanted to show you guys my hair. The hair extensions come in a variety of colors. That was probably the most challenging thing for me, picking hair that matched my hair color. And I still didn't get it 100%. I, there are some pieces in here that match my hair color really, really well. Um, let me see. It's blended so much that it's kind of hard to see. But these are the individual ones. So this actually matches my hair color almost to the T. And then I had to get this other color because the roots of my hair are dark. I didn't want to have, if you look at this hair extension, it's dark right here at the root and then it gets lighter. Well, the lighter you go, the lighter this tip is. And if your hair is dark at the root and you have a light tip, whenever you go to put your hair up, you're gonna see it. So I didn't want to, even though the darker hair this darker hair matched my hair better. The tips of the hair is lighter and I didn't want it to show in my roots. So I had to get alternate between the darker root and the lighter root around my perimeter to make sure that the little tips didn't show when I put my hair up in a ponytail. Overall, I really like it. I ended up having to buy seven bundles, which for girls who wear sew-ins, they know that bundles can be really thick and an average weave, you really only need two, three if you want like really big Hollywood hair, maybe four, but seven of these seems like a lot, but they're tiny. They're literally like bundles this big. So I had to get seven of them. And my hair, I still feel like I actually could have used more than seven, but I think it depends where you get your hair from. Some may be a little bit fuller than others. I ended up getting 22 inches and 18 inches combined. I cut probably three inches off of this hair because it was just really, really long and it wasn't as full 
as I wanted. But overall, I am actually really impressed with the eye tips because what I wanted most was to be able to have more versatility with my hair. I wanted to be able to put it up in a bun, switch it from side to side, put it half up, half down. I just really wanted to do more with my hair that I wasn't able to do with wearing, you know, the wigs. Because with a wig, if you're using just a closure or if you have to have the elastic band around it, you're not really able to put your hair up in a ponytail. And for those of you who don't wear wigs, this is probably like a foreign language to you. I'll explain it maybe in another video. I'll show you guys my wigs. I'll switch them up and everything so you can see my looks. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you guys. I'm able to wear my hair, you know, up in a ponytail. I really wanted to wear my hair in a ponytail. I can even do a high ponytail if I wanted to. I can do it half up, half down. It just really gives me a lot more versatility. My hair, I actually, I cut bangs, so my hair is shorter in the front, which obviously I, I don't really like it too much because it doesn't, doesn't blend. But I'm so used to wearing my hair behind my ears that it doesn't bother me that much. Overall, I really, really like them. I'm probably gonna wear them for maybe a good month or so. The maintenance on, on these, you have to go back to the salon and have them readjust them, like retighten them. So they open up the little loops, they push them back up on your scalp and they close them. You have to do that every four to six weeks. And then after that, you have to take them all out and start over. So I'll probably go in maybe for one maintenance and then take them out after that because the next time, if I do do them again, I'm gonna try and match my color a little bit better and probably go with a different vendor that has hair that's a little fuller because I do feel like this is not as full as I would want it to be. But for now, with it being my first time, I'm really happy with it. It's giving me the freedom that I want. It's giving me the versatility that I want. Black girls can wear eye tips. Just so you know, my hair is naturally curly. If I were to wet this hair, it'd probably be wavy. It wouldn't match my natural texture. So I'm gonna wear my hair straight, but for future, I'll probably look for something that's closer to my hair texture so I can have even more versatility. And I'm just really excited about that. I'm excited about, like you can't tell me that this is not my hair, okay? This is my hair. You see me on the street, you see me on Instagram, this is my hair, it's growing from my scalp. You can't tell me anything different and that's just the bottom line. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any more questions, you can comment down below. I'm very, very new at this YouTube thing, but I'm excited because I just have, like I'm in my room, I'm talking to you on my phone, like we're friends right now and you know, I'm feeling really comfy. So I'm gonna do a lot more videos and just keep you guys up to date on my everyday activity. You know, there's no routine to this. There's no schedule to this. When I feel like doing my makeup and I feel like sitting in my room because my bathroom's right there and my bed is right there, I'll come down here and I'll talk to you guys. So just let me know what you want me to talk to you about and I'll show you some pictures of what my scalp looks like with these in it. So there you go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.